I'm a Berlin-based online coach. So what am I doing in Munich? <laughs> <laughs> we will need one for the two. When the real thing happened that I would just need to improvise, then I'm very relaxed. It's time to talk about perhaps one of the most relevant topics, which is mental health. My partner and some friends of ours applied for a documentary film award. And that's why we are here at the DocFest in Munich. Let's see what we experience. So my clients deal with questions around leadership and health, relationships, motivation, purpose, etc. And for me, being a good partner and working with all of this, of course, I have to stay open-minded myself, right? I have to challenge myself on a continuous basis and be open-minded and creative because you need all of that to be inspired, to solve problems, to make decisions, to create and design projects, processes and relationships and of course to develop and change your life. Do you know this feeling of energy and creative flow and inspiration and everything when you have this energy to do something, to create something, to come up with new ideas and follow your intuition. That's when you're really inspired. Then it's like a firework from everywhere and you're just in the flow. But what do you do when you are uninspired, you have not many ideas and you don't know where to start? Let's figure this out. First of all, you get to set the intention that you want to get inspired so that you're actually looking for inspiration and that you're open for it. Change your environment, get different perspectives, different influences, smells, sounds, go on a day trip or go to a different place in your hometown. Surround yourself with other creative people, not necessarily the same type of your business so that you can get inspired by their approach, their ideas and their enthusiasm and really engage with their work. So read their books, watch their movies. I made this like short film, this like fiction film, The Soy Sauce, and that was sort of like my last fiction. And they want this pitch in 2020 to make this music documentary, Sonic Reverbs. After I made that doc, I feel much better to kind of try the documentary world because it's like very process oriented and it's sort of like number one everything I do perhaps I mean yours too you know it's as personal it has to be related to us in some way because you need to be there and you can't know really what happened but you can plan and it was actually a good exercise because I'm a kind of very um, control freak and um, you know I try to have control on literally everything and having this sort of like Possibility in the documentary world really makes me feel a bit more comfortable because you know you can have excuse for every mistake that happen. And I think in fiction, you know, like it's just like tuck 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 tuck. Everything have to be exactly like that. You can have a bit of excuse, but you know, everything is sort of very planned. And so yeah, it's a good adventure for me even since like this two or three years that I kind of joined the dark world. The kind of attention. Yeah 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 yeah. Um, it's twist. Yeah yeah. Because it also makes it uh, kind of you know that's oh. Of course, somebody should die when we say, yeah. Well, maybe, 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 you know. Well, oh, that's deep. Yeah. Okay. Last time, last week I saw the day, yeah. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Um, do we know each other? I think I met you before, and I hope you remember me too. Yeah, we met at the rehearsal and um, the one that we did that day, Sandra was doing this spoken piece and then Klaus was observing and seeing how everything came together and giving us direction. And I think all of this formed this, like, sea of um, creativity or <laughs> something that it was like really being inspired. Creativity is not about reinventing the wheel all the time. It is about expressing yourself by combining ideas in a new way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 uh, a lot. Like, a lot. 
embrace something you haven't done before, something that is new to you and that might have no connection whatsoever to your current project. Because maybe you are the one who will find the connection. All good. Alles gut. Werden Sie? Äh, nee, nee, YouTube. Ah, YouTube. Genau. Ich habe schon gedacht, vielleicht sind Sie Journalistin oder so. Ja, ja, schön wär's. Nee, nee, ich äh, habe mich der Challenge gegeben zu vloggen. I think I'm just sort of control freak in terms of how we plan things. Like, you know, this day, this have to happen. And um, when it doesn't happen, I'm just like freaking out. But, you know, if everything I plan before, the thing is like, you know, like tick, 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 everything is sent out, everyone agree and accept, then I'm like super relaxed. I'm fading in. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Now we all have red elements, so yeah. that is great. Yeah, you have red. Yeah. Every day, every, every day. Almost red hair. Purple, but yeah, you're just going. Oh, you borrow here is red. It's almost like I need to spend my control freak energy onto this thing before intensely. And then when, when the real thing happened that I would just need to improvise, then I'm very relaxed. I think like I met you before, like, I don't know if you remember me. I think, I think I do. You are the conversations, the sounds of everything and the promises we made, but never make it real. And this one time that you touch my shoulder and say, it's gonna be fine. I believe we can save each other, even just for a short time. It's actually very nice to know you after all. I don't want to be just a memory. It's a short documentary. Also a kind of love poem or farewell poem to my friends who took their life or lost their life in 2019 and 20 due to many problems. And it's actually this kind of project that queer Berlin communities decided it's a time to talk about perhaps one of the most relevant topics, which is mental health. And perhaps, you know, but also to make it in a kind of creative way. This includes the sound as well, that these two persons are also from the community, literally from the sound of it, right? That because music is the reason why queer people in Berlin gathered. The club community is a community that is not actually only on the club, there was also the importance of the presence of K because it also transmits that kind of uh, improvisational lifestyle we are on that is not so much unstructured as it seems. And then there is the, what I do that is more related to techno. The techno is where we are together as a group, as a community. And then there is the music of K that is when we are together by two, by three. Thank you very much for this very, good. very strong presentation. Thank you. You said like documentary work is like it's very process oriented, right? Yeah. Yeah. What What does that mean? Uh, I think it just means that you know, um, again, you don't know what will happen. You just kind of the only thing you know that how you work with it or what you will proceed, but you don't even know the final outcome of it. This is also something that was asked a lot. How do you imagine the final thing? For me, I know what I will make film about and with, but I don't know what is the film will exactly look like, or you know, what is gonna be in the screen. Um, so, uh, your your hotel address? Uh, uh, hotel La Maison. We got hotel. I... In French. La Maison. <laughs> La Maison. That La means maison. house. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. That's so bad. Like hotel of a house. Yeah. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. Yeah, we won. They won. <laughs> so that's why we're here. 
in front of the red carpet and here's the great photo wall and I'm so proud and happy and I don't have any words but I'm absolutely happy. I don't want to be just a memory. Explores questions of community, of security, and mental health. Part of their creative process will be to listen and to inspire each other. Congratulations. Also, as I mentioned, or Sava has mentioned, it's not like just one film. I think it's our lifetime project in kind of how would you create a film that really, you know, create maybe a certain social change or discussion with a sense of care and there's a bit of empowerment in society. And um, so thank you so much for that. And actually, I, um, this person in the picture is one of them who lost their life. So I really want to appreciate that finally you made it to a big screen. Yeah. Maybe not about trying to find inspiration, but trying to find something that is relevant to you and to the society, you know. You know, I did not just say one day, oh, let's do a film about my friend who died. Um, but it was just more like, I was just like going around bars and things and I always bump into these people who are involved with the case. Although we don't have much in common. I mean, you know, sort of, we don't have the same party vibes. I'm a bit more like slow with everything. But one thing is that, hmm, three years ago we were at the funeral, huh? And there's, so it becomes this kind of like, slowly I find it like, hmm. I mean, no one cares about us anyway, so maybe I shouldn't do a film about them. And then I post it on a Facebook and everyone's like, yes, 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 we have to do. And the day after that then become, you know, like the inspiration per se. Um, but I think like, yeah, I think you, it's like whatever that happened in this world that you think is relevant to you and to the world, that's inspiration. No, I don't know. It I sound, don't know. I sound overly smart. I know she's like dumb bitch. I can't. <laughs> what resonates with me? And I really didn't find it like just like like a magic magic thing. But I think this is in a way like what takes you on that journey, you know. And then it's so individual and like precious and beautiful. Like if you ask yourself this question and like endure that feeling of embarrassment, like can I take my life actually seriously and do that thing that I want to do? Ask yourself, what is important to me? You know, these are all very big questions and it's it's not often like, but it's a question that will just guide you. But the Hauptsache, the, the important thing is that you ask the question. Reflecting and thinking is a very good start, but then you have to get into action and actually do something. Open the document, type the first word, film something, call somebody. So go on and do something and let me know in the comments what it's going to be. Thank you so much. Is there anything that you want to say? Not much. I mean, um, enjoy your vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy your vlogging career. I'm sure you're going to be great.